I've added some gray buttons to my toolbar here. These are buttons that allow me to limit my searches to certain categories of information. For example, let's assume I want to find an image of Alexander the Great. If I hit the Go button here, I get a lot of returns on Alexander the Great, but no images. One of the buttons I added was this little Search the Web for Images. Now, you would think if I clicked on this button with Alexander the Great in the search box, I would get images back. Let's try. Hmm, no images. The key here is, notice how my cursor is down here. I have to make sure it's in the search box field. Now that I've done that, you'll see there's a little magnifying glass there. Great. Let's click on that and see what happens. And there you are, images for Alexander the Great. Let's hit the back button. Look at the next button. Browse or search within Google Groups. Hmm. Well, there's still no magnifying glass there. Let's put our cursor back here. Click on Google Group button. And sure enough, we get results back. Let's go back again. Look at the next one. We can search for news articles on Alexander the Great. It's interesting. We get results back from Australia, Oregon, and even Ireland. Plenty of search results back. The next one is you can search within an area or neighborhood. In fact, if you have Google Maps and you've saved profiles using your own Google account, you can search within your own neighborhood or other maps that you've saved. Next one is Google Scholar Search. So you can search for scholarly articles or papers. Let's try and do that. Alexander the Great, see what we get. Sure enough, we get plenty of articles back on that. And then the last button we want to look at is find blogs on your favorite topics. So if we click on that button, we'll get results back. Alexander the Great, written within blogs. So as you can see, there are a number of buttons you can add to help limit your search results on specific terms or search criteria. And if you're not familiar with how to add these buttons, watch my previous video on how to add or remove buttons to your toolbar. Thanks for watching.